two products, two mock-ups, and one AI influencer ready to sell. Today I'm showing you how to turn static designs into scroll-stopping animated mock-ups. At the end of this video, you'll know how to create realistic product mock-ups, customize them for your brand, and bring them to life. Let's get started. I've already got a mirror image as well as her persona details loaded into the pod design assistant gpt we'll use this gpt to create our mock-ups and i've also provided details on um, how i want her first mock-up so let's see what it's going to generate for us Okay, it has given us about five different concepts to choose from based on her persona and the image that I uploaded. And I am going to go ahead and choose option number three. I've advised that I want to do number three and then I just pop the picture back in it just so to make sure it will reference her image. All right, and here are the results. I love it. She looks really cute. I love the t-shirt, her coffee, and the phone in her hand. Um, it does look like she's like walking in the middle of the street, but that's okay. Um, with this GPT, it gives you automatically the generation ID and the seat number. So if we want to make some variations of it, we can. But I think it looks good as is. So I am actually ready to move on to creating the next mock-up, which is for her journal set. Once again, it provides me with some different um, ideas I can choose from. And I am going to go with the fourth option. I want to see how she looks in a coffee shop setting holding her journal. So we'll choose that one and let's see what we get. Now these aren't just pretty pictures or mock-ups. These are versatile assets. We can drop into um, social posts, ads, or even use online store, use it on your Etsy shop. Um, and I'm gonna show you in a minute what we're gonna do with both of these in Canva. But let's go ahead and see what our second image looks like. Okay, I like this one. Um, I think I want her signature hairstyle though. And also um, for this one, I requested that um, she have a iPad um, holding it vertically straight um, because we're gonna do something with this mock-up <laughs> in Canva. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna ask it to um, re regenerate it again and give it give her signature style and make sure her fingers do not touch the screen. And again, I'll show you why once we hop over to Canva to edit these. All right, yes, I like this one. I love this one. I like her signature style. And her fingers are, and fingernails are not touching the screen and she's holding it upright. So we will take this over, these images over to Canva and go ahead and edit them. Okay, we're in Canva and I've already dropped the images inside. And as you see, we have uh, the blank t-shirt uh, mock-up and then we have a mirror with the blank iPad. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to layer one of the clip arts that we created in video two and um, add some text on top of her t-shirt. So as you see, I popped the clip art in. I'm just adding some text so that we can advertise um, this piece of her clip art collection. And I'm just playing around with some different font and colors. And um, right here, I think I want to do a little bit something extra straight. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I think it's cute. But I want to see how it looks if I... Um, let's, let's try using a curve to see how that looks with the design. Okay, um, I actually think I like the second option. I like it curved better than straight. I don't know, you guys can leave me a comment and let me know which one you think look better, but I like the, the curved one. 
Now this little hack that I'm going to show you is not perfect. Um, it's just something that I do. I'm not familiar with Photoshop if you're not familiar with Photoshop like me and um, you rely on Canva. I've found little tricks and hacks that I use to um, get, get the images to look the way I want to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to elements and I'm, I'm just going to click on recently used because I've already used them um, and, and choose a photo frame. And this one has some curved edges. I'm going to use the curved edges because that looks like the inside of the screen has some curved edges. And basically I'm going to position it inside of the um, iPad screen. Um, now, like I said, it's not going to be 100% perfect. You have to kind of move it around a little bit um, and size it the way you want to to cover as much white inside the screen as possible. And um, I just thought of this. You can also, I could probably also so tell it to um, make the screen black so that you can't see any white parts of it but um, yeah this is what I do so and then I'll, I'll also click the lock button to lock it into place now let's pop in the cover and as you see like I said it's not 100% perfect but it aligns pretty well I think okay so this is what we've created so far we have a t-shirt design with one of her clip arts and I've basically um, I have put her brand name on it in straight or curved and I prefer curve and we have her holding her journal cover so next let's go ahead and pop over to clean AI because now we're going to animate these images Right now we're in Kling AI and I have already added uh, Amira's image of her with the t-shirt design and I popped in a, a prompt that I got from ChatGPT and um, I also did put in a negative prompt. I do not, um, basically just stating do not blur the words on her shirt. I'm choosing five seconds, professional and generate. And while we're waiting for that to generate, I'm going to go ahead and quickly um, pop in the second image and the prompt that we're going to be using to animate it. So this way um, we can have two things going at once. And I'm going to do the same thing, um, professional five seconds, and then generate for 35 credits. All right, the first image is ready and let's see how it turned out. Okay, looks nice, but she's drinking out of the cup instead of the straw, and that was my fault. I I probably didn't put that she should be sipping out of the straw. But if you look at the t-shirt, the design that we made is still intact. The text as well as the clip art we made, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is go in and adjust it and um, state that she should be sipping from the straw instead of from... Um, I guess the top. <laughs> now while we wait for that to regenerate, let's see if the second mock-up is ready and it is. It looks nice. The cover is intact. Um, she's just making a simple movement where she's smiling and showing it. Um, it looks really good. You see like in the background it's blurred out like she's inside of a coffee shop. Um, I think it's really nice. It looks really really nice. Okay so let's go check really quick to see if the adjustment that I made for the first video is ready and okay this one looks much better she's still kind of tilting it a little bit but it's okay it looks better she's she's drinking out of it and I love her confident walk and again um, the t-shirt design is still showing um, which is perfect for advertising and just like that Amira has animated mock-ups ready to sell versatile assets you can drop into product listings social posts or even ads if you want access to the GPT I use today plus more in-depth tutorials on building and selling with AI, check the description below. I hope you enjoyed this series and I'll see you in the next one.